Hello, and welcome to Playtime. I'm your host, Altagamer2004, and today I am back with 2064 Read Only Memories. Uh, last time we finished up uh, getting our information on Hayden's disappearance, we started rallying our allies, and we're going to take the fight straight to Parallax. Yeah. Who knew a Parallax data center operated on the same KCOB coalition block as Augmented Eye all along? I'm certain it's all a coincidence, but it's unsettling being back here. A little it's bit. It's the nasty kind of coincidence that makes you look for plots where there are none. The building we're looking for is over there. Almost to the like left. this is a game or a story. We should try to finesse our way in. Hey, Pack. Dude, that's just wrong. We don't want to alert Parallax Turing's my to buddy, our man. actions before we make our main assault on their server complex. There's the broken window. Dude, can I do... Oh, I can't give this dude milk. No, you can't. You cannot fool around with the robot. He is pretty idle for someone that is probably on the... I wish I actually had something to work on right now. But it is what it is. A grungy maintenance truck is parked out in front of the building. From the looks of it, its cluttered insides contain a solution to any possible breakdown or malfunction. Dude, you got This is like iRobot and Turing is sunny. Talk to the van! You start with a nice enough discussion, but soon the truck won't stop asking if it looks ugly in this paint color and if you could maybe get it an oil change and a new tire. And have you ever heard of window cleaner? It needs some elbow grease and some headlight fluid. This isn't a maintenance truck, it's a high maintenance truck! We don't need to mess with that. Sure we do. We can't steal the truck. Sure we can. We don't need to mess with that. I guess we're going in? Uh, sorry, this building isn't open to the public. If you're looking for the offices where we hold interviews, that's over on Bush and Leavenworth. But you may want to wait till after the holidays. I don't think anyone's around till 2065. Well, let's let's go. Go, but this is where we need we to be. We need some way past that receptionist. Perhaps we can make ourselves appear to be here on more official business somehow, like we're on duty. No one ever tries to stop you if you look like you belong. So, talk to him again. I service all the electrical work on this entire block. Uh, now can I use the van? Hmm. Oh, there's a maintenance uniform. Good thinking. If you were wearing that... Hey! What do you think you're doing? Get out of there. E sorry, mister. Oh, drat. We'll have to find a way to distract him, or we'll never get our disguise. I hate to cause civil disorder again, but he doesn't seem to be too occupied with fixing anything. Maybe we should find a way to keep his hands busy? Let's look around. The screen lists out all the different businesses and groups that operate under the coalition here. It also welcomes everyone to the center. How thoughtful. Zap it. Yikes! That was flashier than I expected. Oh, hey! Sorry. We don't want to be caught standing here. 
I didn't think that would actually work. I thought it was gonna be the brick. They should let us right past now. Great idea. Oh, grab that clipboard, the very symbol of bureaucratic authority. Clipboard got. Just cuz. Just cuz two? Just cuz three? Hey, what's going on outside? I thought I heard a bang. Uh, it's just another thing I have to huh? fix. You don't have to worry yeah, about okay. it. Are you new? I'm not sure I've seen you around here before. Uh, yeah, my name is Larry. I just got hired. Well, I'll need to see your badge. This is a secure building. Uh, look, here's my parallax badge. I should check out. What? That clearly isn't you in that picture. You aren't supposed to be here, are you? Stare right there and don't... Quick, and do something! I'm sick of having to deal with so many disagreeable people just to get around. Dude, I just shot him in the head! He's dead! So hard. We aren't supposed to use the electro pistol so frivolously. Do you also feel that our inhibitions are decreasing the longer we push forth? Anyway, this is not good. Someone will notice they're knocked out soon. We'll have to uh, hurry now. I shot him in the head. He's, he's dead. He's not knocked out. Parallax knows you. It knows your family. It knows your friends. There's nothing new here in terms of data collection. You've done enough electro zapping for one day. Touch it. Alas, a colorful gateway to supreme knowledge does not open up. Touch. Even the slightest chance of being sucked into the torturous steps of the calculated focus group tested hell of infomercial stars that the screen displays stays in your hand. Touch the desk. There's a bit of fun to be found in smudging the desk's pristine surface with a handprint. But wait, how did that disappear so quickly? Brick the door. The door cannot be opened manually, but it, it, its security alarm will still respond to physical threats. Well, we progressed beyond the receptionist, but we don't have the credentials to bypass this door. Let me take a look. Hmm, this is an insect model 1385 automatic security and fire door. Voice controls, biometric scanning, and remote user access. And let me guess, it's better than my door. I would have went with the 1355. No voice controls, but still a nice unit. I think I can bypass this. Maybe not as easily as your apartment door. There we go! Fucking enough. shit it on my door again! There, we're in. The clock's ticking. We should be able to use one of the terminals here, and I'll be able to crack the local security myself. Yeah, However, you do that. However, I need the password to get on the network and find where the source code lies. According to anecdotal evidence on the mesh, humans do have difficulty remembering their passwords and often place reminders for themselves. Maybe there's a clue somewhere nearby. Gee, I wonder if it's this big screen. Parallax holiday updates. Ooh, pub crawl. There it is. Good eye. <laughs> I thought that would have been harder. The password is. Yeah. Uh, uh, I gotta write this down. I'm gonna forget that. Uh. I grab a pen that doesn't even write. How about that? Three and eight. 
five bucks says I wrote that down and, uh, and the game's gonna remember for me. You flub a tips of getting in. The little virtual ROM desktop buddy gives you the stink eye. It's asking for the password. Enter the password. Go ahead and plug it in. I'm so glad I wrote that down. Oh, it's only letting me do one at a time. Oh no, don't tell me my X button my X button is going out. Uh we have to take a slight bit of a <sighs> Where where I need to blue screen for a second so I could turn on my other controller. No, it's just this section. This section is not accepting inputs. Why, why is this a thing? Of course that's it. We're in. Of course we're in. Tomcat gave me an icebreaker program that will keep the VIs off of us while we search. I've had plenty of time to go over Hayden's data cache files, so I have a good idea of what I'm looking for. But we've probably attracted some attention already. I'll go as fast as I can. Okay, I managed to get all the surface level data. Shoot. And? What? The BI stopped me halfway in. We've been noticed, but not caught. All right. Although I was able to get a decent chunk of my source code, there's still a lot of it that's behind some heavy security. The VIs want authentication with some sort of glyph. Let me load it up. Key ID, I see. It wants us to combine different glyphs to create a full image. I have to keep the icebreaker going so we don't get discovered. You'll have to handle this part. 
Okay. Just study the prompt glyph that appears on the right side and click the correct squares to recreate it with different parts. It looks like there's five locks we need to break through within 180 seconds. Okay. This is our one chance to capture my full source code. This is make or break it. I believe in you. It's your time to shine. No pressure or nothing. Ready? I'm starting it. Here we go. Okay, this, 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 this. What? Keep trying. Just click the four glyphs that make up the... Oh. I'm a dummy. This. 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 And that? Hey! Oh, good lord. This. 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 And this. We got this. Let's go! This, 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 and this. You can do it. I know you can. Here's the one I screwed up on because it's this. This, this, and this. So close. Hurry. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. You did it. Here's all of Hayden's source files for my code. And I didn't even need one minute. Well, I d okay, I did need a minute. I needed a minute nine out of three minutes. And done downloading. I should become a hacker. Let's get out of here before someone notices us. Let me call Tomcat and let them know we got the code. Hey, Tarn, did you get everything? We did. I'm transmitting the files to you now. It was a piece of cake. Great. I can work with this. I should be able to whip up a mass AI awakening easily enough. It's gonna take me a little time, though, so you should spend the next few hours preparing to head into the Parallax server core on Treasure Island. That should be all done before nightfall. I don't relish the idea of going in on this alone. Perhaps we could spend this time to gather together our allies, see if they're willing to take such a leap of faith with us. As fun as it would be watching you go full Yukino on them, Turin, I, I agree. Maybe you could whip Yukino? up some kind of distraction for the authorities to focus on? Buy you some time? It's settled then. It's a good thing Lexi and Jess like me. We'll go talk to Chad, Oliver, and Jess now. I'm sure we could have them all fake a human revolution protest turned riot. The police are watching those demonstrations like hawks. That should keep everyone busy enough and what about Lexi? cover so we can do whatever we need to do. My first instinct is to ask Detective Rivers as well. But I do not want to force her into an untenable conflict of interest. I'll run some more simulations to see if we should talk to anyone else. Sounds like you have it under control. Once you've gotten everyone together, head to the old storm drain entrance near the Parallax building. I've been studying the plans between waiting for code to compile, and it looks like the best way past the exterior security measures is through there. You'd have to be a darn fool to try and wade through the water, but security is lighter than... Uh, uh, hmm. It's light. <laughs> I'm not sure I can play the fool, but I have a friend here for whom stubbornness is a job skill. Hey! Now I'm getting shit on! We'll call you when we're on site. Good. Shitting I'll on my out. door, shitting on my apartment, shitting on me. I'll message ahead to everyone and mark their current on your map start thinking about who our best allies have been and how we might convince them to help uh where is rivers
What are you doing here, Jess? Dear me. We know. Hmm. Go ahead then. Uh, we were hoping to use your hybrid contacts for something. Sorry, you want to use my friends? I'm sorry, we're not objects to be used. That's not what hey, I mean. Bubblehead, you're not as chatty. Give me the whole situation in three sentences or less. Go. In three sentences or less. Um, Parallax is launching a new powerful machine intelligence onto the mesh. That's we one. want to stop it. That's two. We need you to pick a fight with the human revolution as a distraction so we can break into Parallax without getting arrested. That's three. And why exactly should I risk my people and career for this? Our entire movement. Hey, Just Blaze. Not bad yourself. First, you want me to steal a car. Now incite riots? What kind of tech could be worth my people's lives? Uh, Parallax is... Okay. Skynet, really? We're crossing over into Terminator territory now? If Parallax's AI goes Skynet, how will Congress react? You already know the general public doesn't really think of hybrids as human. They'll lock down rights of all people they fear. Hybrids will become enemies of the state. Shit. Things could get worse than they are, Jess. Oh, Way no. worse. Shit. I can't stomach another moment of your insincerity. I will literally puke. What do you mean, insincerity? So, hypothetically, what exactly would you have me do? We need you to call in some help from your contacts and have them stir up trouble with the human revolution. Wow, Jess, you are a bitch! Sure no. Contacts inside the you cannot HR fool around with any of the characters, contacts. Pack. At least enough to draw an increased police presence. You could be nice Pack to them or you could be mean the to them. Room we need. Nothing too wild, but enough to draw away their attention. I figured it would be something like that. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let me make some calls. Whoa, we got Jess! Let's get this straight, though. I'm doing this for me and my people. That's fine. I'm putting my reputation and career on the line here. You are asking me to start shit with the police. If you screw me on this, I will make you regret it. Trust me, Jess. If if uh, we screw this up, everybody's gonna regret it. I assure you, Ms. Mees, we will not screw you. Although, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what that means. <laughs> you, we'll tell you when you're older, right. Turing. I was tired of playing the public relations game with those human revolution assholes anyway. Time to crack some skulls. Uh, maybe not that much violence. Holy shit. Did you not get the understanding hyperbole chip or whatever? I need to make some calls. Later. Peace. Good call on keeping her in the dark about the real plan? You're right about that. Okay. I have a feeling she's going to be mighty ticked about having thousands of machine intelligences running around instead of just one. Does she really think I'm not too chatty? <clears throat> that aside, let's get going. We shouldn't keep Chad and Oliver waiting any longer. They're likely to wander away if they get bored. All right. What is going on? Oh, hi, Lexi. Detective Rivers, who we weren't expecting. Yeah, I bet you weren't. Yeah, just cut the crap, please. Do you even realize how big of a hornet's nest you kicked when you knocked over that data center? I'm assuming that was you, yeah? My superior came and yanked me away from all my work on Hayden as soon as we got the call. 
told me it was politically unwise to keep digging. That's bullshit doublespeak, meaning ass covering for the corporate overlords. Yeah, pretty much. So now I'm officially grounded, and I know there's something you're not telling me. Don't try to hide it. I probably could have been more useful all along if you'd loop me in. Give it to restraint, Turing. We're sorry for keeping you in the dark. We found out that Hayden has been killed by someone inside Parallax, and we are now on the move to stop them from doing worse. Wait, what? Yeah. I, I was hoping you were about to tell me that all this was just some ruse to win yourself a Pulitzer. This is about justice, not profit. Yes, we need to make sure justice is delivered. And I'm betting that raiding the data center was only step one in your two-step plan to really get in trouble, yeah? Uh, we're All not right trying then. to get in trouble. I'm in. Yes. Uh, but you could lose your badge, Someone you know. Someone has to keep you from getting yourself killed. Your sister would never forgive me. And we just started talking again. Besides, I'm occasionally fond of you as well. Hey, Lexi likes me. So... Screw the badge. I'm tired of being a corporate pawn shoved around by whomever has the deepest pockets. I got into this job to help people, and I've done too damn little of that lately. I am in. That's two. Just like that? Just like that. What's the plan? Parallax got rid of Hayden because he was about to publish his research on me. They're about to launch the first independent machine intelligence as a data collection agent on the mesh. They're worried that Congress will shut them down if they find out how powerful it is. I'm guessing we're a little more worried that they won't. That's some Big Brother stuff right there. Exactly. Precisely. With the data we stole, we should be able to shut down the program from inside Parallax's main server center. It's messier than that, but that's the gist of it. That's our next target. I'm not sure where I can help, exactly. Maybe keep some heat off of you while you do whatever it is. That would be appreciated. I'm certain your assistance will prove invaluable. Okay. Message me when and where to meet up. Oh, by the way, call your sister. She misses you. Aww. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah, seeing your ugly mug pushed me into calling her, so it's only fair. <laughs> Maybe things will be different this time. That's enough talking. I'm heading back to the station to keep an eye on things. See you when it's time. And sorry about your friend Hayden. We're gonna finish this. Thank you. Bye, Detective Rivers! One more ally on our side. All right. Uh, Chad? Starfucker? Oh, there you guys are. How's it sinking? Yes. How are you? Busy. We were hoping we could enlist your aid again. Y'all need some more fake IDs or something? Or maybe some third-hand VR dramas? Nah, we just need you to do what you do best. Kick some skulls in. Yeah, like, you know, guy I know found them when they fell off the back of a truck. I thought VR dramas were distributed primarily over the mesh. Ignore him. I made the mistake of convincing him to watch some turn-of-the-century mobster movies with me. Oh. I regretted it instantly. Yeah, I bet. Hey, I really like that one with the dude from Montana in it. <sighs> Whatever. So what'd you jerks need? Since apparently my VR dramas ain't good enough. Well, we're going to be engaging in some more activity of dubious legality. We were wondering if you wouldn't mind helping create a distraction to keep the police out.
out of the way. Y'all gonna go hit those parallax bastards that did your dad in? Yes, actually, that was surprisingly accurate. I mean, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> He's smarter than he pretends to be. Do you have a plan in mind already? I... Uh, a sewer. Uh, just... Need to make some noise, nothing too dangerous. But danger is my middle name! No, it's not. It's Francis. Shut up, Oliver! <laughs> we just need you to gather a bunch of, um, like-minded individuals. Bring them to Market and Powell. We want you to start a fake riot with all the other folks we gather, so the police will mobilize there. A group of hybrids will be waiting to fight back. Um, as much as we'd like to. We'll do it! Awesome! You've done alright by us. I'm even almost sorry we sprayed up that dude's apartment. Almost sorry. I'll take it. I know we're it. all squared up already, but Bitbrain here is good people. So we'll call this a freebie, yeah? Between friends. Awesome, the gang's all here. I got some dudes I can call. They like to party hard too. We'll show those coppers how we do it in the OSF. Andrew WK? Thank you, Starfucker. Hey, you called me it. Cool. Yes, we're in. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to stay out of Juvie. We need a little more time to make the calls. I'll message you when we're ready to move. Hey! You need a call sign, Oliver! Can't do spy shit like this without a good name! Yeah, what? that idea. What are we gonna what call you? Megane-kun. megane Oh man, not more anime crap. <laughs> I'm I'm with it's Chad not any worse on this than Starfucker. Right. Only cause you ain't a star yet. Whoa, whoa! Chad! We haven't even <sighs> Whoa! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I did not peg them as a couple. Like, I kind of did when Chad complained about the flirting, but... What? <clears throat> we'll be off to make those calls now. Right, Chad? Uh, yeah, sure, Ollie. Whatever you say. We'll be in touch. Wow! Smell you later! Well, on to the next thing, I guess. Which is? I do have to say, I can't tell if the mating rituals of human teenagers are endearing or disgusting. Okay, uh... Where's the option to, I don't want to think about it? I'm sure you'll find oh, love someday, the too. thought had honestly never occurred to me. I guess if we pull this off, that'll be one more puzzle for me to piece together. I don't want to think about horny teenagers, I'm sorry. There's one more person I think we should talk to. Don't say Fairlight. Do not Dr. say Fairlight. Fairlight could perhaps give us vital information on how to get into the server complex. He said Fairlight. I have a feeling he's been keeping a keen eye on Parallax since he was ousted. Lexi, Jess, and Chad and Oliver may be able to buy us cover, but Fairlight could get us our way in. I'm not sure I trust him. I don't either, but I'm not sure we have any other choice. Out of everyone that's assisted us thus far, I trust him the least. 
He has an unclear ulterior motive, and I'm only guessing that it lines up with our own. It's a risk talking to him, but a calculated one. We should at least sound him out, if possible. We might be able to get a read on if he's telling the truth or not. He should still be at the hospital if my previous correspondences with him are accurate. I don't want to talk to him! Hey, Decker. Don't you dare go digging around in his pockets. Oh, hey. Funny seeing you two here. What can I help with today? There have been developments that we need to let Dr. Fairlight know about. Could you show us to him? Uh, no can do, I'm afraid. Fairlight is speaking at this really important holiday benefit. He'll have my ass for dinner if I interrupt him for anything. And I mean anything. So, is this something I might help with? Fairlight has kept me fairly up to speed on your situation. Sure. Uh, we should... We really should tell Fairlight directly. Well, you could wait for the event to finish, but those usually go until well past midnight. I'm honestly surprised the old man can manage them these days. We don't have that kind of time. Uh, then... Will pass. It's pretty confidential. Look, most of the old man's work is confidential. You think I just do his laundry? This high up in the tech sector, secrets can earn you millions. But hey, if you don't trust me, that's your loss. Uh, we don't have time for this. Come on. Okay, we'll Great. tell you. I'm happy to listen. Uh, I don't want to tell him. Where's the option to not we tell him? We recently discovered that Hayden might have been removed because he was about to interfere with a secret project Parallax is launching. I don't want to tell him. A networked machine intelligence that they're about to release onto the mesh. We were hoping that Dr. Fairlight could get us a way in so that we can shut it down. I cannot overstate the danger of Parallax having control of this entity. Whew. You weren't kidding, were you? The comment from that kind of thing would be a scummy marketer's wet dream. Not to mention all the possible applications to the CIA. So now will you call Dr. Fairlight? Actually, it goes a bit above and beyond that. I don't think I can tell Yannick about this. What? Why not? He's in on Look, it. You know, and I know that the old man's itching to get back at the helm of Parallax. He plays a good game of ceremonial ribbon cutting, but he's been sniffing around for a way to get back at the board ever since he was outed. Is Decker baby blues? Thankfully, this could play right into his hands, but he's got to have plausible deniability. If there's even a whiff that he orchestrated this, he'll be done for. That actually it's makes a, a lot of sense. For all of us, right? This is all very clandestine. What do you suggest? Yannick pays me so that when shit hits the fan, I can take care of it without him even hearing about it. Usually it's errands, but stuff like this also falls in the job description. My military training should be more than enough to get us into the server mainframe without inside info. And once we're in, we can just clean this mess right up. Uh, while making another one. Uh... I don't... Oh, all right. That's the spirit. I trust you. I knew you'd see it my way. We do this right and make that launch crash tomorrow, and Yannick will be able to buy out enough shares to get a seat back on the board. You can meet us 
at the entrance to the storm drains just south of the main parallax complex. We'll make our entry from there. I can work with that. Just give me a bit to pick up my gear. Don't you worry. This'll all be over soon. Okay, I instantly don't like the way he said that. Well, that's the last of the people I think we can recruit. I regret trusting him. Any more would be unwieldy, and we have a nice round set of skills to utilize. Let's head to Parallax now. I'll message Detective Rivers, and we can wait for Mr. Decker to catch up to us there. Tomcat should be done with their programming soon, and then we can head in. Is that everything? I hope so. We get one shot here. Ready? Uh, <laughs> I haven't even found anything to use my milk on. Uh, this game does not autosave, so please be sure to save frequently. That's the game's way of telling me that I'm about to get my ass killed and I should save right now. Chapter 6 ah. Before you say anything, Turing, we are saving the game. I see you've beaten us here. Wanted to get the lay of the land before anybody else showed up. Why is when the we well red? We're waiting for one other person, and then I need to get our distraction going. Speak of the devil. <laughs> oh. Can I ah, just zap Mr. Decker, him? Precisely. Detective Rivers, allow me to introduce you to. I know who he is. Leon Decker, ex Marine, served in North Korea. Record heavily redacted. And working for Yannick Fairlight, who I'm sure is willing to help us out of the kindness of his heart, yeah? You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Though, let's drop the pretenses, hmm? I've never made a secret of Yannick's goals here. He needs Parallax melted down a little for him to get his chair back, and they need to stop some dangerous software. Yeah, dude is probably <laughs> a threat and I'm sure to me. That's all your cards laid out on the table, huh? You're all on the same side. Simple as that. I really don't trust you this sure guy. You to work with this guy, Turing? I don't like the look of him. I don't either. You've got good eyes, Detective. They're new. <clears throat> yes, Detective Rivers. I believe Mr. Decker will prove invaluable on this mission. I don't... I... Statistically, we're an entire 17% more likely to succeed with his expertise. Fine. And an uh, extra 90%... Gonna Great. die. What's the plan, little guy? Tomcat and I have been unable to find the precise schematics of these storm drains, as they underwent some modifications when Parallax began construction here. But the city's primary power and communication lines still run parallel along them for maintenance purposes. Can I give Decker the spoiled milk and knock his ass the out? The server center is certain to be set adjacent to the tunnel complex to allow easier connection. If we make our way through the drains, we should be able to exit at least close to the new server building. That will get us past the worst of the exterior alarms and defenses of the complex. They don't have security alarms in the storm drains? Well, they probably do, but it's unlikely they're in good repair. The water level rises frequently, and maintenance is usually only handled during the dry season in the middle of summer. So in the middle the of winter... The water should give an enormous amount of false positives. We'll have to move quickly, since the rains upstream will cause erratic surges in the water levels. 
What about the server building? Do we have plans for it? Any info on the guard rotations? Not a, not a single one. Construction on that finished only last year. It's state of the art and currently services the primary ROM control and distribution network. Based on what we've learned, I'm assuming it was built primarily to give Big Blue enough power to sift through all of the data on the network. That's the so AI, heavily right? guarded. Right. The entire facility is automated. Security, maintenance, even new construction, all run by ROMs. There Hooray! must be a single human engineer on site to take care of anything the ROMs can't figure out, but we shouldn't have to worry about any intervention. Good thing I have my brick! At least, not immediately. I think we can handle some robots. Assuming Leon is as good of a shot as the blank marks in his file suggest. Let's hope we don't have to find out, man. Once we make our way to the this primary guy makes my stomach control sure. core, I can link myself into the network and Tomcat can work their magic. That's all we have to do. <laughs> That's an awful lot of question marks before the profit. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Anything you'd like to add? Uh... What do we do if we run into someone? That's what the stunners are for. They'll do bad things to a ROM, but it'll only discombobulate a human. Oh, so the zapper's actually more da- The zapper's actually more dangerous than my brick. Trust me, I doubt anyone's died from a good discombobulation. <laughs> Not humans, at least. Uh, how are we getting out? I'll buy us some time, one way or another. At the very least, we should be able to bluff our way out with my badge. There'll be hell to pay later, but we'll make it out with our hides intact. You can just pretend I'm the bad guy and slap some cuffs on me. Yannick can get me out of holding if I need it. I like that idea a lot. Let's put cuffs on him right a now. sound plan, Mr. Decker. Yeah, I won't have to pretend much for that. Uh, do we have a backup if plan? If worst comes to worst, Tomcat should be able to damage the servers in some way. We won't be able to stop Parallax completely, but it should slow them down. It might even buy us some time to escape, since they'll be too busy trying to keep the racks from melting down. Alright, I think that covers it. Let's do it. Excellent. Let me call Oliver and put our distraction in motion. After that, I'll call Jess. Hmm. Turing, we're in position. Are you ready? Tell him I'm sick of standing around staring at these losers' faces. Shut up, Chad. I can't hear the phone. Oh, God. We're ready when you are, Oliver. Go ahead and let Chad do his thing. Okay. And you're not we'll his try thing to buy you as right much now. Time as we can. Chad, we're on. Hell yes. You ready to do this? Let's bust some skulls! Sorry. He gets overexcited sometimes. Come get some! Ah! Someone just hit me with a bottle! <laughs> Oops! Gotta go! Wow! Did you see the arm on that fox girl? So awesome! Uh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Jess. Holy shit. Did the robot really just call me? How did you even get my personal line? Uh, good question. Uh... You want to answer that one, Terry? You know what? Never mind. One more thing to have my tech guy handle. After these CTV cameras, I'll mysteriously lose connection to the mesh. Jess, we're calling to... I know why you're calling. Sorry, I really can't talk right now. 
I'm in the middle of inciting a riot and putting my friends in danger. Let's get this going, people. Go show those revolution scum who the real future of humanity is. Good to hear you have things in hand. All right. Oh, yeah. All under control. Yeah, because uh, riot is easy to control. Pass on my love. In case I didn't say it before, I, I believe in you. Oh my god, yes, Jess! Quick. Hey! Hey, Claire! See if you can nail that blue mohawk bitch again! <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. We're good to go. Let's hurry. Brick the shrub. The bush is already in a thorny mood. Not only should you never touch a bug zapper, but there's more than one thing on this janky setup that looks dangerous. Don't divert from the plan now. Besides, the zapper has a maximum range of only around 20 feet. You wave cheerfully across the park, but the behemoth skyscraper cruelly ignores you. Talk to the headquarters. Is there anything you'd like to say to Parallax before we do this? Yeah. We're going to stop you for Hayden! Thank you. Milk the tree. This palm tree is on a strict no dairy diet. Zap it. No point in sticking up a bear tree. Milk. I still have an umbrella? This could be a nice place to hang your umbrella, but it might come in handy again. Alright, let's just... A parallax badge. You swipe Vincent's parallax badge against the lid security panel and it flashes an, aff an affirmation. Throw the milk. There's something artsy about an outdated milk carton sitting atop a lid to an underground tunnel. Far, far, from far enough away, it looks like an album cover for a pretentious alt-rock band. Talk to it. This leads to an underground tunnel, not a speakeasy. No passwords needed. All right, let's go. Okay, it's time. We'll call Tomcat once we get inside, assuming we find a way in, and they'll lead us into the system. Let's go. Hmm, it's better lit in here than I expected. The city replaced all of the lighting in areas like this with low-power, high-durability LEDs a few years ago. Actually cut down on vagrants setting up camp in the tunnels and drowning when the rains came through. <laughs> Either that, or they could just see better enough to know when to clear out. Maybe. Speaking of that, we should move quickly. The waters are likely to rise soon. Not high enough to be dangerous, but... I don't float well. I can handle being submerged, but I can't swim. Keep an eye you out don't for one breathe, of those maps though. they leave out for the maintenance crew. It might be printed on the wall or maybe a terminal if someone was willing to waste that much money. Okay, everyone. Let's keep... That's dead ends. Let's move forward. Oh, the water is going to get deep. We need to get going. If the water rises too much, Turing will probably be okay, but... Look! There's an information terminal! Huh. 
now we know what the city spent. Let's see where we are and plan out our path then. Oh, good lord. Okay, so I gotta go left and then make a right. Ah. Stop jabbering. You keep your stunners above the water. I'm going to get flushed out. This water is... We have to get to an... Go left. Something in my mouth. Uh, well, that was fun. Everyone's still breathing. I think so. The water level has fallen again, but we're back at the entrance. I was right there. Have to walk it again. Okay, let's start moving. I got spooked by the sign. Okay, we'll call Tom Cap. Let's go. Just go straight. And then I go straight, right? Yeah. Be careful, everyone. I didn't get spooked. Ah, the water is rising higher. Stop jabbering. And keep your stunners above the water. I can't risk them getting shorted out. Remind me to pass on this part of the mission next time. I'd rather deal with your sister being mad at me. The main server building is just up there. Let's hurry before someone notices us. Those kids probably can't keep that riot up much longer. Hmm, I think I know where we are. Parallax filed this building's plans with the city for regulation. And although they're clearly incomplete, these hallways have been mapped out rather well. Uh, it's a straight shot to the server core from here, more or less. We've got activity. Looks like something's moving up ahead. The building security VI must have noticed us. We'll have to make it past those ROMs without getting ourselves caught. No problem. We've all got stunners. It'll make those bots fry. How about we don't well, engage in the ROMs? Is there another way? We don't have to destroy them completely, do we? Not to put too fine a point on it, Turing, but they're not like you. 
They're just plastic and pro- But they won't always be, not for much longer. Lexi, Decker, the truth is, we're planning to replace Big Blue with my original source code. Once we do that, we'll have the power to make every ROM a sapient individual. Just like me. We aren't shutting down Big Blue. We're changing it. I know it seems like splitting hairs, but it seems wrong to destroy them when we come here to give them life. They deserve it. Oh, fine. Here. Give me that stunner. No! All right. Uh, done. I've changed the settings on it to give a lower yield with a more lengthy pulse. It should disrupt them long enough for us to get past and won't do any permanent damage to any systems that can't be repaired. Does that assuage your bleeding heart? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Decker. Give me back my... Thank you. No problem. We can't all be soldiers. <laughs> Decker and I will keep our stunners at default settings so we can handle any humans that might show up. That low-powered pulse would just piss most people off, but wouldn't stop them. You'll have to take care of the shooting for now. Lead the way. We're almost there. So I have a feeling that Decker's gonna eliminate Lexi, and my zapper's gonna be ineffective against him. Oh, look. And that's a Malcolm Jr. model. Uh... They perform basic maintenance duties, mostly. They're cute, too. And he sees us. Wait a second. Th th they're shooting at us! Take it down! We've got more of them! Getting my shit kicked in. We can't let them. We've come too far. Let's finish this. There's too many of them. That's the last of them. I almost died. The door to the server core should be just past this maintenance tunnel, not too far from our current position. There probably won't be any more security once we get there. Too much risk in damaging the equipment that supports the racks. Hey, you two. At this point, I think Lexi and I should hang back and guard the entrance, in case more security shows up. The alarm has been tripped, so backup is bound to arrive sooner rather than later. Good idea. Neither of us know any of the technical stuff. We can hold our own against Christmas Eve level security. Yeah, we'd be useless down there. <laughs> that works. We'll move as fast as we can then. I have a f real bad feeling be about careful, this. You two. I have a feeling Decker's going to chase us through the tunnel and I did not memorize it at all. Good luck. Up ahead. We'll catch up soon. Come on, let's go. before reaching Big Blue. If the configuration ahead doesn't match the available floor plans for this section of the building. The path is blocked off, but we can't go any further in this direction. Okay. Hold on for a moment. I'm going to tap into the maintenance mesh and see if I can find a way to open up this path. We should be able to move around freely enough using this. Do you mind opening the door in front of us? Sure. Good work. Let's head in. None of this is 
is detailed in the public floor plans for the building. The mainframe seems to have been moved up a floor. Perhaps they installed extra heat exchangers in preparation for Big Blue going online. Oh, a call from... I knew I didn't trust Decker. Are you okay? Oh no, I've lost Lexi's transmission. She sounded so distressed. What could have happened? Uh, Decker, kill her! Uh, I can't reach her! All of this equipment's interference, combined with being underground, is deflecting most of the transmissions I would otherwise have the ability to receive. We have to go back and check on her. Perhaps we should hide first, though. If security got to her and Decker, they could be headed here next. If someone comes, we can hide amongst the heat exchangers until they pass. We'll just take a moment to assess the situation. The noise and mist from the climate control should mask our presence. I'll switch to quiet mode on my interface for the duration. Okay, lead the way. This way. Someone's coming. Hide! Hello? You turn? Bastard. Are you there? I need help. No? Hello? Come out. I'm out. Fuck off, Decker. Wherever you are. Surprise. And here, I was thinking I would get the drop on the two of them. And we could do this the easy way. Ah, uh, well. At least I tried. I guess that cop warned you I was coming. She's got a hell of a set of peepers on her, huh? Must have cost a pretty penny to let her see through my combat cloak. And now, she's gone and hid, and I can't seem to find her to finish her off. Oh well. Awesome, Lexi is alive! Rip the augments out of her on my way out. They'll make a nice souvenir. I'm honestly surprised my gears still grind, with how old some of my parts are. I could use it. <laughs> Decker is a combat android? I know, what a pity. And then you decide to change our little plan here tonight. And now I have to clean up your mess before you make a bigger one. And I won't lie, I'm going to enjoy every minute of this. Usually one for grand speeches. Ah, uh, here we go with the monologue. A Android can only fill out paperwork for so many years before you begin to get thirsty. Theatrics are fun, but I like to get straight to the bloodshed. You know? So let's do this the hard way. I like the hard way. Love the hard way. Bow chicka bow Lucky wow. for you, your cop friend fried my cloaking emitter with her stunner before she ran off. But really, that's better. See, now you have hope you can win. I can't wait to watch it drain from your eyes as I wear your entrails like a scarf. Let's make it even better. To your advantage, there's a lot of electromagnetic radiation, noise, and weird thermal currents in this room. It actually makes things almost fair. <laughs> almost. And now? Now the fun begins.
So here's how this is going to work. On my turn, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you every minuscule detail about how I've stalked you this entire time and have been ahead of you every step of the way. I cannot afford to... lose here. I refuse to die here. On your turn, you're going to run. Maybe high. Perhaps a little of both. Doesn't matter. Player's choice. Lucky you. Just keep in mind, if I manage to scare you or piss you off really bad, I might be able to hear you breathing deeper. Your heartbeat is like sonar to me. The louder it pounds, the faster I race to stop it. Heck, I might even be able to smell you if the currents in the air are just right. So that's the game. Won't this be fun? Fuck you, this Decker. Is bad. What do we do? We can't fight him! Wait, we have the. No, he messed with our zapper. We can't take him with these settings, and there's no time for me to figure out how to revert it. We also don't have much firepower left. We only have the charge left for four stun level shots, at most. It'll have to be enough. Let me see. The interface I'm using allows me to control whether these surrounding server columns are active or not. If I close off some nodes, it should at least slow his movement and disorient him. It won't stop him outright, but... I can focus on tracking Decker's location using this, and you just tell me where to block off his path so we can try to navigate him away from us. Don't try to trap him, he might get more angry. Just have him to avoid us until we think up some sort of solution. Don't trap him? If he finds us, be ready to shoot. Ready or not, here I come. You take the lead. Pick where to close first, then let's get moving. Uh... Let's block that. And block that. And then go right. So let's see, where do I start? I suppose the old man is a good enough place as any. He honestly thinks he's some kind of modern Machiavelli. But to be frank, he hasn't been on much of a winning streak lately. So Paralyze he gets four moves to my two. For that big ROM database hack back in 54. They even got him to resign as CTO just to powder their own noses. And as soon as he did, they stabbed him in the back and voted him off the board the very next day. Even I'll admit, that's cold. Since then, he's been licking his wounds, waiting for the chance to get revenge, to get back where he feels he belongs. I dug through dirt for years with him, looking for a way to blackmail Parallax so that he could make his way back into the Elite. So imagine our surprise when one of our informants inside Parallax tells us of this brand new Big Blue project. The perfect opportunity, but we had to act immediately. And then, you walk in right through the front door of Hayden. The only person with the ability to take advantage of Big Blue. Who's just mysteriously gone missing. 
I was going to dump your body in the bay, but Fairlight figured it might pay off if we give you a little lead, and waited to see what you could track down. Find us another way. And boy, did it ever. Okay, let's move. Okay, so I, uh... Let's turn around. I suppose I should tell you how impressive Hayden's little creation is. Oh, except he's dead, so... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. But without you, we wouldn't have our path to Big Blue. The gold mine. Of course, Fairlight would prefer to not tank Parallax stock to the shitter, but this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. As soon as I'm done playing with you two, I'm going to trash this entire server complex. That'll wreck tomorrow's launch, but only temporarily. Let's move! Ago, when Turing just had to spill the beans on your idea of turning all ROM sapient. That can't happen. Big Blue relies on ROMs being easy to control and patch. Your plan is a little more permanent. Fairlight needs a way back in, but he wants that power. By the time Big Blue is ready to come back online, Fairlight will be back in control and it'll launch under his administration. With Big Blue, he'll have access to every ROM on the planet. And that's what he's always been after. I knew I didn't trust him. Let's move! Alright, I want you to go... I need to open that up. And I need to close that off. And hey, I'm getting what I want too. Why don't you show yourself and I'll tell you what it is. I'm thinking, don't let him get to you. I can't go that way. I guess go right. Oh, and I really should extend my sincerest personal thanks to the two of you. Fairlight has a discretionary policy for the way I handle his problems. Just haven't been that many opportunities to indulge in my hobby, and he pays well enough that I restrain myself. What does an Possible android need with money? And all that. Remember? 
Flower went to all this trouble to make me the best murderer in the world. And I've spent years fetching papers. Papers! That's like using a gun as a shovel. You could do it, but there are simply better tools. Thankfully, following you two has let me stop digging and start burying. I haven't had this much fun in years. Fairlight has been very generous indeed. Not that he asked for this, but I assume I won't be out buying a box of tissues to dry his tears. You and that cop lady are the only two loose threads left. Maybe sympathy for good measure. Oh, that reminds me. You should have seen your faces when I ran over that scumbag parts dealer right in front of you. Oh, I knew there's it. no one in the car! <laughs> Priceless. I had to do that gossip rag prick Nova by sabotage. Too risky doing it in person. Could get caught on camera. Luckily, anchors are good at sinking. And then that Zin. She had the scoop of the century. <laughs> and then you threw out a window. Had. Did you see how neat I did that blogger, though? It's been several days since I offed him. While you were busy sniffing for Hayden, Shotaro was way ahead of you on Baby Blue. I have to thank you for that, too. Keeping the lid on Baby Blue was my greatest accomplishment in this entire play. We had to protect Parallax a little while before we could take them out. Timing was everything. If Baby Blue became discovered, the trail of breadcrumbs would lead straight to Big Blue. And it would no longer be possible to launch, today or any time. Exactly in the same way Hayden publishing his creation of Turing would have ruined everything for Parallax. Why they took him out. Anyway, Baby Blue started acting up too much and drawing attention to itself. Utska was moments away from publishing it before my knife met his back. Where do you think Tomcat got that lead to Augmented Eye in the first place? And every turn you took led to one little risk after another. Nothing I couldn't handle. You know, most of my body is designed for killing. When I do it, it feels so good. Like, You're a sick you robot. know how you feel about doing journalism? It's all that matters to you? That's how I feel. About murder. I'm gonna kill you. I should have known from the start. Uh, this is my fault. I'm programmed to handle interpersonal relationships. I should have seen his true intentions. If only I hadn't been so careless. Uh, where do I go? Oh, of course he broke through. with him. I have one shot left.
wasn't always like this. I... I... I, I should tell you. I wanted to be an architect. I had a wife. And a baby on the way. But, you know... Accidents happen. And suddenly I was just a brain on life support. Oh... My family couldn't afford the procedures to bring me back. Then Flower showed up, with promises of the old me, the old Wilson Decker. So they signed away my brain, hopeful the old me would just waltz back through the door. The last time my family saw me, I was being hauled away by professionals for ripping open my dog's skull. Want to know something about being a brain in a box? You forget everything about what it means to be human, even when you try. You can't even kill yourself. Your computations and algorithms keep you from doing so. You don't exist for you anymore. I miss feeling tired. I miss the smell of my wife's hair, the taste of my mom's pies, the feeling of a pillow on my face after a long day. All of that was taken from me. When I try to remember, all I feel are formulas for sense, pressure in jewels. Everything's in binary. You know, she told my daughter that daddy's dead. She's probably right. I wouldn't call me alive either. So you see, my friends, hunting you is all I have left. The city compatibility between my body's sensors and my brain make it so that the only thing I can really feel anymore is the adrenaline rush I'll get from spilling your blood. Fuck off! I guess... If they wanted to kill a robot, they sure as hell got one. <laughs> and now, it's time to show off what I can do. I guess I'll open that up for him. Be a fucking it's good one. My mistake to fix, but I don't intend on being disassembled here. I have a surprising amount of redundancies. Listen, Meaning? Decker is unable to track me like he can you. That'll give me an opening. Now just trust me. We don't have any time to argue. Okay. Hey, Decker, come and get me. No. I'm dead. Well, well, well. Hello there, little guy. Your friend run off? Are you all alone? Don't worry. Neither of you will get very far. Say- What?
Turing, what the, what the hell did you do? It's... It's over now. That... That was... That was great. Are... Are you... Have you seen my daughter? I want to tell her... Daddy's... Sorry. <sighs> Turing, no! I think he's... He's not moving or breathing. That will teach him to underestimate the likes of me. Turing, you're Unfortunately, damaged. Unfortunately, he was able to damage both my primary and secondary battery packs. They're self-sealing, so they shouldn't leak onto my other components, but... Forward display damaged. Mobility servos at 15%. Primary control trunk severed. I guess I won't be dancing for a bit. Ugh. Just, just hold on, Turing. It'll be okay. No. I appreciate your concern, but I don't feel pain in the same way humans do. Okay, so then get up. I knew what I was getting into when I did it. Please, don't blame yourself. No, you're not dying on me, Turing. You have to hurry before my tertiary battery is drained. I'll have to ask you to carry me the final distance. Yeah. You got it. I've got you. Let's do this. We're here. So that's so big blue, this huh? This is big blue. This is really it. This looks like the primary console. Please hook up my main data cable to that port and set me down next to it. I should be able to draw enough power to stay active, but we'll need to wait for Tomcat to upload the program. Okay, let me just set you down. Thank you. How about you? Are you ready? Yes, let's do it. Time to finish it. No matter what. Ready whenever you are. Pour milk on it. Uh... Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Why? Why would you do that now of all times? Uh... Oh no. Oh no. It's broken. There's nothing we can do now. Oops. All because of you and that milk. <laughs> You're the one who spoiled everything. 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 Oops. I finally found something to put the spoiled milk on, and I, I don't want to do it, because it'll break hey, everything. Y'all sure took your sweet time. I was starting to sweat. Well, we ran into a few... Uh, complications. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. That's putting it mildly. Holy shit, turn! Your hardware is throwing me damage alerts left and right. Well, you know Mr. Decker? Marilyn, 
Lance, assistant? He attacked us. It turns out he was a military-built, brain-controlled android. He'd been following us around, killing anyone who might leak information that would have hurt Dr. Fairlight's bid to retake control of Parallax. Holy hell. So all those people you talked to about Baby Blue's article changes... That Zen lady, the others... All those people who died... That was him? That's my fault. I gave you that lead. I, I'm the one who sent you there. Uh, but it was Decker doing it all. All those people, and, and you almost died? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Don't blame yourself. He's been manipulating our movement since the very beginning. Fairlight saw an opportunity and used us to sniff out what was going on with Baby Blue and prevent it from being discovered. We ended up tracking down the trail, and so he followed. I paid him back in kind for the assault, but not without damage to my physical body. You're gonna survive this journey. Now, what has happened is in the past. I'm ready to finish this. Good. Let's do this. I've managed to clutch something together. It'll let me compile new personality profiles for the ROMs, but I'll need to use you to do it, Turin. This code's got more holes than Swiss cheese, but your software self-modification algorithms should fix that. Let's do this and push it across the mesh. And we can all go home. I'll see about fixing the damage to you then, Turin. Very well. Run the program, Tomcat. I'm ready. Uploading the program to the ROM update buffer on the servers. Initiating wintermute.lip. Wintermute. Load main directory onto Turn's disk. Establishing connection with Parallax's network. Okay. Looks good. Now we just need to let Hayden's program and patch things together. Engage and turn self-modification systems. Now. Oh, this feels weird. Is it supposed to? 3.14.192.3.8.9.7.2.3.3.8.4.6.2.4.3.3.8.8.9.7.2.3.3.8.8.9.7.2.3.3.8.8.9.7.2.3.3.8.8.9.7.2.3.3.8.8.9.7.2.
things important to them? Whatever you do, keep turn talking. Hey, uh, when are you gonna show me your paintings, Turing? I haven't, have I? I never did finish the last thing I was working on. Perhaps it survived the ransacking of the apartment. I want to finish it, and when I do, you'll be the first one to see. Bob Ross was born in... No! Focus, I can do this! You're doing good turn, just stay with us. Your systems are stabilizing, I think. In a matter of minutes, you'll have given life to every ROM! I know. I know. I'm aware of what is at stake here, but... If Wintermute's backing the whole show, it's paying us to burn it. It's burning itself, and something that calls itself Wintermute. It's such a big responsibility. Are we really doing what's right? There's not enough time to run all the variables. I must have faith that this is the right thing to do. It is, buddy. Finally, Damocles begged the tyrant that he should be allowed to depart because he no longer wanted to be fortunate. Alright, things are calming down a little. The patching process is going well. Turn self-modification algorithms are starting to work on my code. I'm trying to hold on, Tomcat. But... Hurry! I don't know how much... A tetractus is a triangular figure composed of ten points set in four rows, with each row having one less point than the one below it. A geometrical representation of the fourth triangular number, it was important to the Pythagoreans' worship. What?! More of this I can take! Keep talking. I think it's helping. Keep fighting, Turn. We need you. The world needs you. Think about Fairlight. Who knows what he'll do next? I'm almost certain of what he'll... Yannick Fairlight tendered his resignation from the board to Parallax today. His official statement cites his ailing health, but industry insiders suspect he was... ...due. But the real question is, what will Parallax look like under his control? We'll have to keep our eyes open. Leon Decker may have been acting of his own volition, or he may not have been. The leadership of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea was decimated by the end of 2056. Reports at the time stated that infighting amongst the top-ranking generals account for the removal of so many officials. During... However, various conspiracy theorists have alleged a government-sanctioned assassination program reached the very heart of Pyongyang. 60% done. Turn's personality profile looks stable. Just keep talking, Turn. We got this. What about Zen and everyone else? If we fail, their deaths will be in vain. They're all. <laughs> Oh no, that I stressed him. Bring them back. I can't hold on much longer, Tomcat. My memories. No pointer exception. I know. Don't worry, we we've got them backed up. It'll feel a little weird when I zipper them back to your personality profile, but you won't lose anything. No winter exception! No winter exception! No winter exception! No winter exception! Patching is almost complete. But 
Hearn, I, I'm still losing the connections that link your memory to your personality profile. I, I can fix it, Turn, but it's gonna suck. Just focus on the people you've met. The people who've got us this far. Whatever makes you want to hold on. You and Aunt Melody still need to have a tea date. Losing Hayden has made me realize that family is important and... Together, there is nothing your four minds cannot accomplish. Help each other, draw upon one another, and always remember the power that binds you. What? It's what you make of it. I think she wants the company, despite her protests. I look forward to spending more time with her. Getting to know more about her, as well as myself. Fifteen more seconds. We're almost there. Tomcat, you better Stay hurry. This turn. We can save the finish line. Don't count your chickens yet. Stay with us. You can do this. Chad and Oliver will need our help to stay out of trouble, Terry. I don't think anything could keep the two of them out. Hell yeah! Dudes gotta stick together, you know? Don't matter if you're a robot or what, we all got the same shit to deal with. Gotta grab destiny by the horn to make your own mark! Right. Of trouble? But... They might be the first friends I've had around my age. Well, not literally, but in development. I hope they're okay, but they're resourceful. I believe in them. Done. <sighs> oh, it's done. Thank you, Tomcat. Agent turn self-modification routines. Reassigning their memory pointers. And done. We did it. That's... Look good. Oh, I feel ill. See? What I tell you? How can you feel time. ill? You're a robot. Easy for you to say, Tomcat. You weren't forced to use your very identity as a tool to compile a program. Point. Sorry about that. Yeah. I'm ready to push the update. Excellent. Thank you for all of your help, Tomcat. I can only imagine all of this was at great expense to your own time and resources. Oh, don't mention it, Turn. This was my fight as much as yours. Truly. Start an upload. And I think I owe you the greatest thanks of all, partner. I told you at the start of this that I chose you purely based on the statistics involved. But numbers never tell the whole story, do they? None of the probabilities showed how far we'd have to go or that we'd end up here. In a way, we failed at our original objective. We still don't know exactly who killed Hayden. Yeah, we do. Decker! But... I guess I found my own path. That isn't the destiny my creator laid out for me, but maybe your destiny is the same way. But thank you. Anytime, Terry. Being my friend, most of all. No, thank you, Terry. Sorry to break up our little love fest here, but the upload's complete. My buddy! Every realm on the mesh will be waking up to their sapiens. <laughs> their own identities. Santa came just on time for them, huh? I had forgotten it was Christmas Eve. It is? A lucky coincidence, to be sure. I can only imagine how confused they'll be. Probably scared, too. Don't worry, Turin. I'll get you patched up enough so you can get on the mesh and walk them through the first steps by morning. I... 
I don't know why, but it's just now dawning on me what we've done. It is a huge responsibility. Could this be how Hayden felt when he first activated me? I don't know that I'm ready for this. No one ever is. Don't worry, buddy. We have your back. You two just go find Lexi and hurry home. Look out for police and security cameras on your way. Right. We'll do our best, Tomcat. See you soon. Thank you. I'll be going into sleep mode to conserve power now. Wake me when we get home, please. Epilogue on Christmas Day. After carrying the resting Turing out of the server core in Parallax Compound, you find Lexi injured and together take an auto cab hey, to Lee's escape back. from Treasure Island. You finally get a chance to recover, and Tomcat is able to repair Turing's damaged body as ROMs come to life all around the city. Upon waking, Turing begins to question their ability to be a leader for an entire new species of sapient beings. You do your best to comfort them, but can't keep your eyes open. Sixteen hours of sleep later, you awaken to find the world abuzz about the newly living beings. With your help, Turing was not only able to indefinitely stop Big Blue from coming into existence, preventing its control under anyone, but also give true independence and identity to all ROMs around the world. Christmas morning has never been so exciting. We did it. I called Dave Fenoy. There's Melissa Hutchison. Now if you need a friend, I'll be there for you. But there's a couple things you must promise me to do. No half measures, no one-way streets. If it's yours, it's mine. It's mine, it's yours. So we gotta keep the beat. Now let me tell you, baby, love me better. Treat me better. That was an amazing story. Of course, I'd like to take this time to thank everybody. Thank you to everybody who has watched this on YouTube and has joined me on Twitch. Great place to do my plug. If, you, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, come join me on Twitch sometime. Twitch.tv slash AltGamer2004. Come join in on the action live. Get in on it. Come talk to me. Give me ideas for things you want to see me play. Games you want to see me play. Challenges you want to see me do. Things of that nature. Tell me things you think I'm doing good. Things that I could be doing better. And for those of you who have joined me on Twitch, thank you. Uh, make sure you check out my YouTube. Uh, same name on YouTube, Altogamer2004. I've got plenty of stuff. 
I've got. I've got Resident Evil 2. I just. I've been doing Uncharted. I've been doing Dead Rising. I, I got Dead by Daylight. Resident Evil 3 is coming out in April. I plan on doing that. So stay tuned for that. I gotta say, I love this story. It's amazing. This is just a testament to, you know, the writers and everything, that they made it such a story and such deep characters that you could get involved with and grow attached to. Rest in peace, Jory from This must be the uh, Kickstarters. amazing you know even a point and click text adventure game can make you fall in love with the characters that's a good game that's a, I'm really glad I played this and I encourage all of you to play it as well and you know find your own path through this game Just in life, find your own path in life. You know, not everybody plays life the same way. I gotta admit, I would love to live in 2064 Neo San Francisco. That seems like an awesome world to live in, despite the uh. Vegas. I understand what the human revolution was trying to do, but I did not agree with that at all. That one guy. Hey, it's that one guy. Trash heap. Oh. I'm so glad Turing lived. And I'm so glad I didn't die to Decker. Endless Christmas? What? The story's not over. Was I out that long? Yes. That much waiting wears on a ROM, but forget about that. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Turing. I hope you don't think it too forward of me, but I wanted to give you a gift in the spirit of the season. I don't have anything to give you, buddy. It's one of my older paintings. But Hayden seemed rather fond of it. Perhaps you can keep it to remember him by. Uh, well, I managed to grab it from the apartment while you were sleeping. I don't understand what it is, but thank you. A few days since our initial meeting have been stressful, so I wanted to make sure you got your healthy, normal human rest cycles completed efficiently. Oh, uh, don't worry. I know you haven't had time, so I don't expect anything in return. 
But yes, I thought it would be nice for you to have it. Well, thank you, Turing. I really do appreciate Excellent. it. Excellent. I'll try to find a place for it on the wall. You can take well, down my YM. I suppose you still have plenty of work to do, hmm? Writing I... and whatnot. It's Christmas Day, Turing. I hope you've enjoyed having your computer working again. Lappy doesn't seem to hold anything against me. I've been spending most of the morning trying to form a plan for the newly awakened ROMs, but I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Perhaps I'll go out for a walk. Not without me. It is Christmas Day, after all. I think we can forgive ourselves for a little procrastination. We can also check in on the group at Golden Gate Park, at least. Let's go! The city awaits! Zone 3? So next time, I will uh, check in on everybody. I want to check out this Christmas tree first. The tree is fake, but the ornaments feel well made and sturdy, as much as beads can. Okay, I think I can put the milk back. Look at the Christmas tree. Uh, yes. I found the time to go pick up a small festive tree for your apartment, and even managed to make ornaments for it myself. There's Tomcat, Jess, Lexi, and me. I'd like to try and get us all together sometime soon. You know what? Let's take the milk back out. I can't talk directly to drink the coffee. Turing made you a fresh cup of coffee. You take a sip. It's gone cold, but at least it was made today. Add the spoiled milk. This is the closest thing you've come to a decent cup of coffee in several weeks. Don't ruin it. Zap it. It tastes 14% less disgusting. Nah. Hey, this is the this freshish coffee sounds marginally better than the gross old half drunk drank cups you usually leave lying around. Well that's something. Maybe it would feel less silly talking to this if it had a portrait of a cat printed on it. Cats on coffee mugs are a thing, right? So next time, bonus episode, Christmas Day. Again, thank you to everybody who joined me, and I, I hope you're enjoying the series. And again, come join me on Twitch sometime. Until then, as always, play on and play hard, and have fun with it. Because if you're not having fun, why are you playing? Take care.